Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today I'm going to be recreating what is perhaps the dumbest, most dangerous, stupid war weapon I've ever seen. And it is known as the Great Panjan Drum. I can't believe they were bold enough to put great before this thing. It was it was everything but great. Spectacular. Spectacular could definitely be a word that could be used for this because failures can definitely be spectacular. Or I get it was pretty great at failing. But anyway, this is the Great Panjan Drum. This is basically a rocket wheel strapped with tons of explosives. I love how they even have they have the arrow painted on this thing to tell them which direction it's going to roll. Because <laughs> I was just thinking how embarrassing it would be if they had it in the wrong direction. And instead of going towards the enemy, it just went right back at themselves. Okay, so anyway, before I get too distracted with all the hilarity of this, I need to actually say what it's supposed to be doing. If you haven't guessed already, these are fireworks that are built into these giant metal wheels. And all of these fireworks are supposed to get activated at the same time, causing it to be a rocket propelled uh, circular motion and causing it to roll. And it's supposed to roll all the way down the beach through any enemy barricades and it's supposed to blow through a very tall and thick concrete wall to allow tanks to be able to get through their uh, barricades. Because this thing is supposed to be filled with a whole bunch of explosives. I'm not exactly sure what the plan was to make sure this thing exploded when it hit the wall. Because if it's just an impact trigger, that seems really dangerous. I feel like that's a recipe for just premature explosions that are at best a waste and at worst self-destructive. <laughs> All right, so here's some clips of it actually in action. So as you can see, it's supposed to deploy from the boat and it's it looks like it's working. It actually looks like it's working pretty well at, okay, and then they just cut to it's not, it. this is this doesn't look good anymore. <laughs> I love this clip. <laughs> look at it go. <laughs> to me, this just feels like video game results in real life. There's even this, look at this clip. There's even this clip. They, they did this on public beaches. It was supposed to be this big secret weapon that they were developing, but they couldn't somehow block off a beach. According to some sources, there were actually crowds that had formed of just the public, and they were watching them test this top secret military technology, and it was failing so bad, rockets were flying off of the wheels, flying overhead of the crowd of just the public. You can see there's somehow a dog got involved chasing it like a toy. Like, I don't even know. I don't know how incompetent these people had to have been for all of these. For, they even caught it on video. At least they were competent enough to, to record it for posterity. So I'm going to try to replicate something like this. And we're going to see if we can explode some concrete walls. All right. Well, this thing was supposed to be full of explosives, so uh, I'm going to build it around the explosives, which is always a fantastic idea, because if anything goes wrong during the build process, it'll just explode and I'll lose everything. All right. It took me a couple of attempts to find the best layout here, but I think this is going to be a decent explosive payload for the panjandrum that we're building here. Now I got to uh, I got to build wheels big enough to hold thrusters and this thing. All right, I got a potential wheel here. Is this big enough for this? Oh, that looks good. Whoa, wait, what? What? Oh, okay, hold on. I have a bearing here and a bearing there. That's the <laughs> that's the issue. That was confusing me for a second. There we go. Oh, I should have saved that before I welded it on there. No, that's an easy solution. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I think that looks like a good proportion. So yeah, let's keep that. And you know what? I forgot I wanted to make this out of metal instead of wood actually. So I'm just gonna convert it to metal real quick. Okay, so now we need some thrusters on this thing. And this actually seems like it's gonna work out pretty well. You know, we can make this thing look a little bit more professional. There we go. All right, I got the wheels. The wheels are all set. There we go, there's one wheel. All right, and there's the other wheel. So I think we have the basics of the panjandrum. And I think I may have made it a little bit too wide compared to the original dimensions. So as an easy fix here, I am just gonna literally divide it right here and then weld these two parts together. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Please don't explode. Please gently go down to the ground. Good. 
I really hope they didn't try any tests with real explosives. All right, that looks a little bit more proportionally accurate. Honestly, it was probably even a little bit thinner than this. But you know what? I want more explosives, so I'm going to keep it this dimension. Okay, I think this is ready for its first test. We're not going to send it at a wall or anything. I just want to see what happens. I want to see how strong these thrusters are and can it make it actually turn. And oh, I just realized... These bearings, I wasn't supposed to put these bearings there. I just so naturally put bearings on wheels because now this isn't going to rotate with it. But in reality, it did. But, you know, let's just see what happens with this version. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it looks just like what happened in history. It went up on its side and everything. Oh, that was great. Okay, this thing isn't going to turn off. What are you doing, Panjandrum? That's kind of cool. I want to jump on it. I missed. Okay, hold on. Ready? Oh, well, this is an interesting thing, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's too low now. I can't step on it anymore. What if I go down into it? All right, it's not doing nothing anymore. All right, come back. All right, I'm sorry. I need to take the bearings away. Uh, the bearings are not historically accurate. Oh, no. Okay. Physics is fine, don't worry. Oh, no! Oh. Okay, I took away the bearings. Now the whole thing should roll like the original design. This time I'm just gonna send it in that general direction. I uh, don't know where it's gonna end up, but here we go! Oh my goodness, it's so bad. This is like, as soon as you meet any level of uneven terrain, which is exactly what they were, the issue they were having, they were, they were going onto a beach. There's ditches and mounds of sand and barricades that they were gonna like if if the rockets were going indefinitely this is what would have been happening <laughs> this was doomed to fail from the start oh man doing these historical recreations it just makes me think of how different history would have been if they had video games like this back then where they could just do this and be like well nope that's not gonna work i'm not gonna put hundreds of hours and you know, who knows how much money building a real life scale replica of the exact thing that I want to just test out. All right, what if we just go like this direction where like the ground's a little bit flatter? It does, it just can't. It literally can't. It can't even. All right, here, what about this? I'm gonna activate it on the lift and I'm gonna drop it from the air and see what happens. Whoa, no, no, it's got no chance. It's really got no chance, does it? I should have I should have grabbed it before I let it go all the way over there. Okay, let's try to improve this and make it actually do something. I mean, so far, we're pretty historically accurate. It doesn't go straight. It kind of just flips over and uh, it looks extremely unpredictable and dangerous. So feeling good about it so far. Okay, so I'm going to put the bearings back and I'm also going to add suspension to this thing. It hopes that this is going to give the wheels a more regular contact with the ground. Oh no, what are you doing? What? 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 That's what, why would this do that? Okay, it's kind of fine now. That's really strange. You know what? I think I need to replace these with smaller pipe pieces. They're gonna be less likely to collide with things. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't understand. It was literally fine a second ago. This is gonna make it explode. You're gonna blow up. Look, 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 it's fine. Oh, and it's not fine. All right, well, hopefully that doesn't become an issue. I'm just I'm gonna go with it anyway. All right, so now this thing, it's got some flex to it. Uh, this, this is gonna be int Oh no, I did it wrong. I put the bearing in the wrong spot. I, the bearing's supposed to be over there. I'm dumb. Because this is gonna, it's gonna flip the whole suspension thing. <laughs> okay, I think... Oh, <laughs> it, I still did it wrong, but it actually fixed itself, which is kind of cool. Yeah, the way that I put the suspension was actually upside down because I did it from the wheels instead and didn't realize that um, the weight is coming from the middle, which would only then be pulling the suspension down from this angle. But you can see it fixes, it, it fixes itself. Look at that. It's, it's cool. Everything's cool. Why won't it stop? Yeah, stop. Okay. You know what? Let's just push the button and see what happens. Here we go. Everything's better now, right? 
It just really wants to get up on the side, doesn't it? All right, let's try it in this direction. Come on. Oh, 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 look at it go. Look at it go, it's going straight. That was a good one. That was actually a good one. Okay, so now we got this issue. Now we need to make it actually explode when it hits a wall. I, I'm gonna have a wall here, and the problem with this is uh, the wheels are really protecting the explosives. So this thing, in scrap mechanic at least, there's gonna be no force of impact that is translated to the explosives because the wheels are just gonna absorb all of that. So I'm gonna send it at this wall and see what happens. That's the wrong way. <laughs> I didn't see, and it didn't even go straight anyway. All right, let me just spawn another one in here. So I'm gonna send it at this wall and see what happens. Oh! It worked! Only because we lucked out and it hit the side of the wall, which hit the explosives. That was amazing. Let's destroy some more of the wall. Go! Go, 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 no! See, this is what would have happened in real life if they tried to use it. All right, I'm just gonna keep sending more of these things that way until we get another hit. Oh! I can't believe it's actually kind of working. All right, what about from here? Come on, oh, no, 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 oh, oh, it might hit those rocks. No, no, it's not gonna hit those rocks. Okay, let's just spawn another one in. All right, come on, there's only a little bit of wall left. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and that is the issue right there. That's what I thought was gonna happen the first time. The wheels just hit the wall and absorb all the impact. All right, you know what? There's one easy way to get these things out of here. Just go ahead and give these things a good shot. <laughs> I mean, the thrusters don't really explode, do they? Did I get it? Yeah. Look at the mess we've made. This is amazing. So, without needing to get lucky, how could I make this thing more reliably explode? All right, I've got a really strange solution to this problem. I'm gonna have these stick out of the wheels just like that. And in the back here, you can see I've actually got concrete. This is designed to offset the weight that I've just added to the front. It'll actually be kind of like uh, explosive horns that are gonna ram into the wall because now that I have a bearing on this, this should be able to just freely rotate and stay level. Oh, look at that. It actually looks really intimidating watching it settle in like that. Oh, and I just realized, dang it. <laughs> I didn't look at where the thrusters were facing. I just did this backwards. Well, let me let me launch it and see if it's, it's going to stay level. That doesn't look good. Okay, how's this going to function? No, 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 don't hit the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> it instantly, like, it turned it right into the ground, but it didn't explode it, which is interesting. What if I add more weight to it? So now it's aiming up a little bit. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Somehow it survives going against the ground. All right, you know, we gotta clear, we gotta clear this stuff. Let's put a bigger wall in front of us. Hey guys, I found a wall. Remember this? Back in the medieval base days? I just typed in wall and found that on my lift. All right, here we go. Now we're bringing World War II technology back to the Middle Ages. The funny thing is the Middle Ages had better weapons than this. All right, go get it. Is it gonna work? <laughs> it kind of worked. It wasn't able to break all the way through. It's a pretty thick wall, but it did get through most of it. Is there, how many layers left are there? Look at that, it was a last layer of wall, so you need two pandan gems to, to, to break through this wall. Okay, so clearly what we need to do, I'm gonna make another adjustment here. I'm gonna put these on the top. So now this should be able to do, no! <laughs> it still kind of worked. Still needs some improvement though. I think I need some heavier concrete to offset that in the back. Okay, is this gonna be enough? Man, it really just wants to turn it right into the ground. Could still be a luck-based thing. Let's try a few more times. There we go. Oh, that looks good. The turning doesn't look good, but it did, uh, it kind of looked good at first. Come on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. It turns at the last second. Oh, 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 oh. What? How did that not hit? You can do a panjan drum. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good.
What's going on? <laughs> Alright, brand new wall. Clear path. This should be the one. Oh! Hey, that was pretty good. Damage was pretty minimal. Okay, as, yep, as far as I can tell, this thing was doomed to fail from the start to like... I don't think there's any amount of realistic improvements I can make this thing short of giving it like suspension glitches that cause it to stay perfectly straight and defy all physics. This thing is just completely unreliable. That was the most legit one yet. Hey, that actually kind of broke through to the other side. I mean, we were like 20 feet from the wall to start, which is exactly what this thing was not intended to be used for. It was supposed to be able to close the distance from the beach all the way to the wall without requiring people to make it across no man's land. But who knows, maybe if you sent a couple of these things barreling towards the enemy, it would just confuse them and they would really not know what to expect. This was a failure. Another war machine failure. But if this isn't the most sandbox themed war invention I've ever seen, like, I don't know what is. This just has pushing the limits of physics all over it, and I love it for that. So Panjandrum, you may have been a failure during the war, but you're a success in my eyes today. An entertainment success. Thank you for all the entertainment. Well, if you enjoyed this recreation of a real historical failure, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more stuff. And if you're new and haven't seen some of the previous versions of this, then go ahead and check out that on the playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.